Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is an apparatus to allow you to rack mount your cloud key. So are cloud keys still valid? I guess that's the first question we need to ask. Yes, they are. So whether you are running the network application, whether you're running protect, access, or talk, if you're not you know, fully into the Ubiquiti ecosystem using a, a cloud gateway that has that built in, then the Cloud Key Gen 2 is the perfect way, and that's what this is. This is the uh, Cloud, uh, this is actually the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, and this is also a Cloud Key Gen 2. Now, these, these, little, these little ones, I like these. Same kind of format as the uh, first gen cloud key, but much harder to find. And I don't know if these are end of life or if they're just not making them, but uh, used to be able to find these. I, I, I hope these make a, a comeback. I don't know if they will or not. Now, another thing to note is that when the new cloud key first came out, uh, they had a battery in these that would do a graceful shutdown in the event of a power outage because MongoDB was very susceptible to corruption if you just cut the power. So what happened is in 2022, Ubiquity changed the way that they were using MongoDB and that made the cloud key less vulnerable to corruption if the power was removed. So in 2022, they actually started producing cloud keys without the internal battery. So now that we've covered a little bit of the cloud key, here is the actual uh, rack mount device. You can still buy these. You can see I've had mine for a while. It's got the, uh, the old logo over here, Whoop, right here. It's got a little see-through screen there. And then it's got an ethernet port, got a reset on the back. It's got this little sliding, uh, window right here so if I push this down and I slide this a little hard to do while I'm trying to concentrate on the camera there but if I take this and I hold it down and I slide it now I can put my my bigger cloud key in there but by default it's set up for this little guy so <clears throat> we have folks who want to use just like unify talk or they want to use uh, unify access or they want to host their own network application and they want to use a cloud key to do it. Now, I do have several people that I've worked with that, and I recommend not running all the applications on a single cloud key. So if you're using a cloud key Gen 2 for um, Protect, that's the only thing I recommend that you run on there. I would actually recommend that if you're going to run a cloud key Gen 2 and you have what you would consider you know, a, a setup that you need the best performance. If you're going to run talk, if you're going to want to run protect, if you're going to run access, personally, I would have multiple cloud keys. I mean, if you're making an investment and it's important to you. So the way that this, the way that this works, let me get this a little closer. So like I said, you've got your LED over here and the, the newer ones have the newer logo. Um, you've got the little window there. Down here, we've got that gigabit ethernet PoE port, and we've got the reset button. It is this 1U rack mount, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to uh, put, now, uh, one other thing that I wanted to, I don't know if I can get this on camera or not. Let's see, so in there, oh yeah, see those pins that are in there? Those match up with the pins that are on the bottom of your cloud key. So if I uh, take this and, and insert it, and you can see it's inserted, then that's what's gonna power, it's gonna pass the power from the PoE over to this. So, and then we can, we can remove this. It's not, it's not in there forever. So, and it tells you connector up. So when that slides back out, then I can expand this and I can stick this, this big one in. Now, on your cloud key, on the bottom, by default, you're going to have the, uh, 
the hard drive release and then the pins are actually going to be covered. So you have to peel um, this black plastic off to get the pins exposed to be able to slide this into the accessory. So I wanted to introduce this to you because we are going to be doing some more videos after we get done with our ISP uh, set of videos. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to plug this in so you can see what it looks like. Then we'll go over pricing. We'll take a look at the cloud keys. Be right back. All right, so I got that, uh, got that plugged in, and it is booting. And so you can see that we get that nice uh, LED blink there. You can see that the cloud key is booting. So it looks just like a lot of other ubiquity devices now my uh my cloud key has been updated so it's actually got the as you can see there it's actually got the uh the latest logo so but that's it i mean you just uh power it up throw it in the rack and you should be you should be good to go but we do recommend these if you've got a lot of a lot of devices or you've got a rack they do make a stand where you can sit the cloud key up and down give me just a second and let me let's take a look at the pricing all right here i am over at the ubiquity store so you can see the cloud key gen 2 plus is 199 dollars has a one terabyte now you can see <laughs> so now we're over here at the ubiquity store and the cloud key g2 plus is 199 dollars comes pre-installed with a one terabyte hard drive but if we go over to related add-ons, this is where we can see the rack mount is $99. So mount your cloud key or cloud key plus into a 19 inch rack. So let's pull this up. And that's, that's, I mean, really that's it. There's not a lot to this. And you can see even on, it looks like even on the newer version that, over here, it's got the new logo, but it's still got the blue LED. So a little bit of that nostalgia from the uh, early Ubiquity days. Max power consumption, 12.95 watts. Nothing really earth shattering or new here in the tech specs. This is literally just a really nice accessory that allows you to have that clean rack mounted cloud key. And then let's see, what else do they have? Uh, under related add-ons. Here's that stand for 19 bucks that allows it to sit up and down. <clears throat> and is there anything else that we should look at when it comes to that? I think that's it. So real quick, let's just go over the tech spec for the cloud key. So you can connect using a five volt USB-C um, adapter. So it says optional USB-C power with quick charge 2.0, 3.0 compliant adapter only. Bluetooth for instant setup, or you can do the PoE, one terabyte. Here's our uh, accessories. Let's head on down to the tech specs. This is what people sometimes get really interested in. So it's got an octa-core ARM Cortex-A53. It's got a one gig RJ45 port, 32 gigs of storage built in uh, it's got that one terabyte hard drive and it says here that it is user upgradable but the cloud key gen 2 plus only supports hard drives that can operate on 5 volt power five hard drives that require additional power are not supported it does have the led and it has the oled display power and factory reset so like i said we use these quite a bit and we're going to use them more and more and you'll see a couple in the rack back here as we get things going once we wrap up our ISP build. So new video coming on that too. If you've got questions about the cloud key, let me know down in the comments. I know people had some uh, issues with, with batteries and things like that. Some people did, some people don't. Could be environmental. I don't know. But if you've got general questions about the cloud key, let me know down in the comments if you've got questions about this accessory. 
let me know. I'll answer all the questions I can. If I can't answer your questions, we'll pass them over to Ubiquity, see if they can answer them for us. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, join our community at community.willyhow.com. we got a lot of great people over there and we are growing that free knowledge sharing community. So come on over. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.